All right, next performer coming to the stage, the guy who's in clubs all over town. Please start clapping right now for Mr. Joey Rimatello. <laughs> Okay, how's everybody today? All right. All right, beautiful Sunday, I love it. Are you cold? Yeah, I'm freezing. You want a blanket or something? You're okay? Man, it's like freezing here, my nipples are hot. Oh, wait, look at this shirt I'm wearing. I mean, what was I thinking when I left the house today? It looks like somebody threw up all over it. Oh my God. It's like even that or I'm ready for the seniors cruise. <laughs> excuse me! Excuse me! Where's the long boat? Excuse me! <laughs> so a couple of good things about this shirt. You can't even tell if it's dirty. And you can't even tell if it's wrinkled. <laughs> so I'm from Brooklyn. Well, I have a nickname. My nickname is Joey Z. The Z is for Zoloft. I have an ex-girlfriend. Her nickname is Rooster. Any cop will do. No, but Brooklyn is not like what it used to be, you know? It's not Guidoville anymore. You know, it's not like, hey, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how are you? What the fuck are you looking at? No, what are you looking at? What, you want to take this outside? We're already outside, you fucking moron. I come from a big family. Eight sisters. Yeah, it's very confusing. I mean, the first ten years of my life, I sat down to pee. I didn't even know they made boys underwear until I went to gym class. I'm like looking at my friend, I'm like, hey, uh, Paulie, uh, you got a little hole in the front of your panties there. <laughs> I remember the first time I played Pee Wee football, I was all excited, I went over there, the coach was like screaming at me. He's like, Rimatello, what are these? I said, you told us to bring in our pants. <laughs> I'm 53 years old, I'm not married. I've never been married, and they figure at this point in my life, eh, why bother? Uh, what do I got, 10, 15, 20 years left? What do I want to ruin my happiness for? You know, and dating women my age is, it's a little creepy. Because they're like grandmothers, you know, at this age. No, I got my own grandmother. I don't need another grandmother. As a matter of fact, I live with my 95-year-old Italian grandmother. Maybe that's why it's hard to date. <laughs> you know? so that dating website for people over 50 now, it's called OurTime.com. I'm looking at these profiles, it's more like uh, OutOfTime.com. <laughs> I mean, it's one woman, 66 years old, she's looking for love. Uh, I don't think she's looking for love. I think she's looking for somebody to help her out of the bathtub <laughs> and rub Ben Gay on her back. <laughs> you know, I, I, what's the proper etiquette for a man dating my age now anyway? I mean, if I kiss her, do I still use my toe? No. I mean, do I go down? I, I don't even know anyone. <laughs> and like, it's like, if I want a woman, ask a woman out on a date, it's like, do I text? Do I email? You know, I mean, why is it okay to stalk a woman on the computer, right? You know, send her, send her a picture of your drunk, of your drunk, a drunk, of your drunk, and you know, she's like, oh, look at that cute little fella, you know? But if you try to pick her up in the supermarket, you know, it's like, hey, honey, how you doing? Get away from me, you creep, fucking pervert, get away from me. Security, security. <laughs> You know, I'm at the point in my life, you know, it's like, if you want to fuck me, just let me know. You know. I don't have time for, hi, I'm Joey, how are you, what's your name? You know, because I've done it all. It's not, it's not like they're coming up with new positions and I'm missing out, you know? It's like, 
No, hey, Joey, did you hear about the new 69 that goes into the 138, you know, that splits into the 34 and a half, and your face winds up at ground zero? <laughs> You know, sex is, it, it's not the priority anymore at my age, you know? It's like, you know what I need? Food and sleep. That's what I need. That's my priority. <laughs> you young boys will get there, don't worry. <laughs> oh, that'll never happen to me. Oh, sure it will. <laughs> and I, I, like, I'll give you an example. You're going to love this story, all right? A woman pulls me up. She says, hey, Joey, my kids are going away for the weekend. Would you like to come over? I said, I can't, I'm, uh, I have plans. I'm going to Peter Luger's Steakhouse with my friends. <laughs> so she starts screaming at me on the phone. Those are your plans? You're going to a steakhouse? I'm offering you a beautiful sexual weekend? <laughs> I said, hey, not just any steakhouse. It's Peter Luger's Steakhouse. <laughs> you know, my friends and I go to Peter Luger's like uh, once or twice a year. I mean, I could have sex three or four times a year if I want. <laughs> I mean, I could go three to four hundred days without sex now. I'm like a sexual camel. <laughs> I can't go three to four hundred days without Peter Lucas Steakhouse, okay? I mean, because Peter Lucas, it's like, it's like sex now anyway. You know, it's like, just, just picture this, you know, it's like the day of Peter Lucas, you get all excited, you go home, you take a shower, you know, you put on your cologne, you get dressed, text your friends, hey, I'll meet you at Peter Lucas. Get Peter Lucas, you open the door, Basically, you're unbuttoning her pants at this point, you know? You go to the bar, you have a drink, you get in the mood, you know, you're like, all right, this is great, all right? They call your name, woo, you get all excited and everything. Basically, at this point, you're pulling down her panties. You know? They sit you at the table, you're like, all right. Look, they bring you that big, beautiful jumbo shrimp. Oh, my God. And those beautiful slices of tomatoes and onions with that peanut. Lucas steak sauce. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't even get to the bacon yet with those big, juicy, thick slices of bacon. Oh my god. That when you bite into it, the fat squirts into your mouth like some poor man's cheap caviar. Oh my god. Basically, this is like massive foreplay at this point, you know? You're basically about to come in your pants, you know? You're all excited, right? Oh, and then they bring in that big, beautiful, medium breast steak. Oh god. Oh, you're getting you're all excited. You're rock hard in your pants now. Like, you're looking at this steak. All right, they, they bring those beautiful sides of crispy potatoes and cream spinach. And you, you start eating that steak and you're like, oh my God, this is so good. This is so fucking good. You're like, holy shit, this is so good. And you're eating it faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And, faster, and, faster, and you're like, holy shit, this is so good. This is so fucking good. You're like, oh my God, this is so good. And you fall back in your seat and you're like, oh man. That was so fucking good, wow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. And like, uh, man, uh, I don't even smoke, but I need a cigarette. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it's like, how can you compare sex to that beautiful, delicious meal that you just had? Right? You guys were great. My name is Jordan Mattel. Thank you very much. Joey Rotella right there. How many people want to go to Peter Lucas with Joey? He sounds very convincing. I want to go with him. Something of last. It does. All right.